One of the first things you want to do is when you're installing it, once the pump is mounted, you generally want to put about an eighth of a cup of oil. Just enough so that oil trickles down in here and fills up this tube here, maybe about three or four inches. What that'll do is that'll allow that oil to run down slowly down into the pump. Sometimes when customers put oil in, they, they pour a little bit too much in. And what happens, here's a cutaway of the pump right here. What happens is when they pour oil in here, there's an air pocket in the top of the pump. And if they pour in too much oil and they have a head pressure here, it won't allow that little air bubble to burp out of the pump there and travel up there. So it's a really easy fix. If that does happen, if you take an Allen wrench and you disconnect, you unscrew one of these little plugs, what that'll do is that'll allow the air pocket right here to burp out this little hole. And as soon as you see any oil coming out of there, you can just reinstall that little plug and you're set to go. If you have a pump that has all check valves that does not have the plug, you can remove one of the check valves. And as soon as you see oil at that fitting right there, at that opening, just screw the check valve down in, and then your pump is charged and ready to go.